Hi everyone, welcome to Train Forever. I'm Andrew Barr and today we're answering the question, can you lose weight by walking one hour per day? The answer is yes, 100% yes, but that doesn't mean that everybody who starts walking an hour per day is going to lose weight. So to give you a really good answer to this question, we need to first get on the same page about how a person loses weight or not, and then talk about how walking fits into a well-rounded weight loss program. So how does somebody lose weight? Well, weight loss is governed by energy balance, or the relationship between energy in and energy out. Energy in is fairly straightforward. It's what you eat and drink. There are limitations with the way that we count and record uh, these numbers, but the fact is what makes up energy in is what you eat and drink. Energy out is where things can get a little bit more complicated, in large part because there's so much more to it than just exercise. When we look at the energy out part of the equation, that is captured by something called total daily energy expenditure. And the components of that are mostly made up by something called your basal metabolic rate, or the amount of energy that it takes just to keep you alive and your metabolism functioning. Uh, then, then there's something called NEAT or non-exercise activity thermogenesis or the energy that you burn just from being active throughout your day, things like cooking, doing the dishes, uh, housework, uh, even taking the stairs. Then you have the thermic effect of food, which is the amount of energy burned uh, just in the digestion of the food that you eat with protein notably having a higher thermic effect of food than other food types. And lastly, you have exercise, which actually makes up quite a small percentage of a person's total daily energy expenditure. So you have all of these components on the energy inside and then all of these components on the energy outside. And uh, mostly on the energy outside of things, uh, things like age, metabolism, hormones, if you're taking medications, that can influence uh, the rate at which your metabolism processes energy and how it might differentiate from what you would expect all else equal. And this is why you it can seem like some great big mystery or that a person is cursed if they're trying to lose weight and maybe even tracking calories, but they haven't had success yet. So although there are many different things that can influence both the energy in and energy out sides of the equation, the fact is we do know that weight loss is governed by this energy balance because of the first law of thermodynamics that states that matter or energy cannot be created or destroyed. Uh, this is true for the entire observable universe, so of course it's true for the human body. If it's not, the entire understanding that we have of the universe that society has been developing for hundreds of years needs to be examined. So how many calories does an hour of walking burn? Well, the answer is that it depends mostly on how fast you're walking and how big your body is, with larger bodies burning more energy per unit time and smaller bodies burning less energy per unit time. If we were tr to try to capture the entire range that we might see throughout the entire human population, uh, the range of numbers would probably be quite enormous. But we can capture probably most adults by saying that an hour of walking burns somewhere between 300 and 500 calories. If you're interested in finding out what that number might be for you, I found a pretty good online calculator that you can check out. I'll put the link in the description, so make sure you head down and check that out, and then you can get an idea about how much energy you might be burning in an hour of walking. If you're finding this content useful and informative, go ahead and give me a like, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another training tip. I'll be putting out a new video each week to help you get the most out of your training sessions. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your support. So is this energy spent by walking an hour a day enough to lose weight? Well, it certainly might be, as long as two criteria are met. The first is that you were maintaining weight and not gaining weight prior to started, starting walking. And the second is that nothing else changes in terms of energy balance. If somebody was not walking at all and then started to walk an hour per day, that represents increased energy expenditure, and we would expect to see some sort of weight loss response. But if the person at the same time started to eat more, well, that could offset the potential weight loss benefits of the additional walking. And this is actually one of the most interesting points about walking as a form of physical activity or exercise for weight loss. One of the limitations of exercise as a weight loss strategy, or at least looking to it to deliver all of your weight loss results, is that most people, subconsciously most of the time, but nevertheless, tend to increase their food intake to offset the energy expenditure of their new exercise routine. And more intense workouts like HIIT and boot camp and that sort of thing is more likely to cause this phenomenon. 
walking is much less likely to result in increased appetite or at least significantly increased appetite, which means that a person who wasn't walking and started walking will have a good chance of being able to maintain their current energy intake levels and through the walking, potentially see some weight loss benefit. So let's say that these two criteria are met and you were maintaining your body weight before you started your walking program and you don't increase your food intake after starting walking. How much weight can you expect to lose by walking an hour per day? Well, let's come back to the numbers. So fat, uh, whether it's in food or in the body, has nine calories per gram in it. And there are 454 grams in a pound. So that means that if you multiply uh, you know, nine times 454, you get about 4,000. And a quick side note for anybody watching who might have some insight into this, um, for the longest time, in fact, right up until make, getting ready to film this video, the, the number that I always heard and used was that fat has 3,500 calories per gram. And that, that's what I've used to do calculations. And uh, in researching this video, I find the, found the same number on the Mayo Clinic website, so it's certainly in common usage. But when you actually multiply 454 by nine, you get a little bit over 4,000. So I'm not really sure what to think in terms of those numbers, but it doesn't change the fundamental principles that are relevant to our discussion. So whether it's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat or 4,000, the principles are the same. And if you have insight into these numbers, uh, I would love it if you could leave a comment and share your thoughts. And if you have any questions about walking as a form of weight loss or anything around energy balance, exercise, and weight loss, please leave a comment, share your question, and I'll be happy to answer everyone. So back to these numbers, if somebody was burning 500 calories uh, per day, which we identified as the upper limit uh, for most people, 500 calories per day from their walking, we would expect that person to lose about a pound per week. And if somebody was losing or somebody was burning 300 calories per day from their walking, we would expect them to lose a pound every 12 to 14 days or so. Uh, and oftentimes when people hear these numbers about one pound per week, uh, the gut reaction is, wow, that's really slow. There's got to be some better way. But zoom out a little bit. If you are really able to maintain a one pound per week weight loss rate, that works out to around 50 pounds per year. A lot of the people who are trying to lose weight are trying to lose less than that. Do you really not have a year to devote to your goals? And even if you have more than 50 pounds to lose, you know, wouldn't this be a successful year for you weight loss wise if you lost 50 pounds sustainably and in a healthy way, prioritizing physical activity as part of your program? And I can tell you from personal experience coaching people that my clients who have done the best with weight loss over the years are those who have taken that slow and steady approach. And the rate of weight loss that we see is often quite a bit less than one pound per week. But by staying consistent over the long time, they get the results that they're looking for. I also want to point out that so far we've really just been talking about walking and the energy outside of the equation. If somebody was maintaining their current body weight, started walking, and also made some changes to their daily nutrition, things like eating more protein, eating more veggies, and of course reducing calories, we would expect to see uh, an even better results with regard to weight loss. So the answer to the question, can a person lose weight by walking an hour per day, is absolutely yes. And that's because people lose weight by being in a caloric deficit. And that additional energy expenditure from that increased walking can be enough to put a person into a caloric deficit. For best results with a weight loss plan, you would want to look at both the energy in and energy outside of the equation and make some changes around your nutrition too. And I also want to highlight once again that walking is a much more effective form of exercise for weight loss than most people believe and accept. And if you're serious about getting great results with your weight loss plan, I encourage you to make walking part of that plan. And I wish you good luck. I hope you thought today's video was useful. And if you did, please give me a like and make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss another training tip. If you head to the description, you can get my free guide to building core strength. And you can also find strength training essentials and strength at home two of my training programs made specifically for beginners, and you can find information about my online coaching too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.